would be nice if I'll do a DNT M40. And I managed to find a DNT M40 on our shelf of junk made by RCH in Hong Kong in 1981. It looks a bit of a... and it rattles. And I was going through a scrap bin and I found a knob, so nothing to do with this set, but that'll fit. So I'll make a microphone up and I'll get the service manual out and I'll see whether we can get this to work. Well, inc incredibly, I've plugged a mic into it and we're greeted with, I don't know whether you can see that, channel 20, meters lit up, and it actually works in some form. Now, what I've observed about this radio, it's been modified. Now, I don't know whether this has been done properly or not, but if you look there, it's had a crystal filter um, added instead of the normal ceramic filter but whether or not the termination has been done correctly I don't know so we'll see how the radio performs but I didn't know we'd got this version or, or what I notice also there's a capacitor being altered down there by the looks of it and I don't know what that's about either So I'll go through the VCO and the transmitter. Now these are a three crystal synthesizer and so they're a bit of a faff to set up. So I'll just get the service manual out and I'll go through that with you. Right, so I've made myself an adjustment chart and let's hope I can follow it because it's quite a complicated arrangement. I've taken this from the circuit diagram. So what we need to do is to set up this crystal mixer. And it starts off that the first thing to adjust will be the 10.24 reference crystal for the synthesizer. It's an MC14... I can't even read it. One, oh no, here we go. It's an MC145106. I was trying to read that, which is a gate chip. So we're going to be adjusting that for 10.24 megs. That's our first port of call, so we'll get a frequency counter on that. So it's pin 3 of the synthesizer chip there, so that's the ident pin is just there. So it's the first, it's the 1, 2, 3, third one up, and that needs setting uh, on your frequency counter for 10.24 megs. Without that, the receive and the transmit could go either way because of the way the mixer works. So the next is we'll find the transmit mixer crystal and then I'll set that for you and explain that. Okay so it's the right hand one of the of the two there which is CV3, so that's CV1, CV2, CV3 and that is the transmit mixer. So I've now set that in transmit with the radio into the test set and that's now on channel 20, 27 decimal 79125. So I'll now go through the rest of the transmit strip with you. Right, so the part of the transmit chain from the mixer crystal there is L17 and L16, but of course we've got a signal, we're not going to adjust, adjust those. So I'm going to come in at L15. So into transmit, peak that for maximum, which I've just done. Now L13, I presume, is the next. Um, yes, it is. So we've peaked that. Move to the yellow tool. So you've got the transmit receive relay there and the three there. So we'll just peak those L11. L10, L9, and L8. I 
and then we'll see. I'll tell you how many watts that's now doing. That's oh, doing about three and a half, so that's fine. So one of the next adjustments, the radio's got high low power in line with the 2781 um, arrangements. So switching to low power, that should be 0 0.4 watts output. It's actually 0. Ooh, let's have a look. It's 0 0.9. So we'll just adjust its resistor 136, which is that one. Bring that down to 0 0.4. I have 0 0.4 there. Now the deviation. No, before I go on to the deviation, we've got the RX meter adjustment and the TX meter adjustment. So we're going to the TX meter adjustment. plan is to have the meter, and it's on a bit of an angle for you to see that, the meter there between the red zone. Okay, so we've now set that. I'm looking at it straight on and that's in the centre of the red zone. You'll look at it at an angle so it won't quite be uh, how I've set it. So it's, it's only a relative meter thing, and so it's in the centre of the strawberry patch as the good buddies will tell you. That brings us on to deviation. Transmitter deviation is the adjustment there. First of all, I'll just give it the whistle test. <whistles> wallow. <whistles> wallow. Can I see any? Can I hear any? One, two, one, two. Yeah, I can. <whistles> wallow. Right, I'll get the trusty little oscillator out and we'll set it up properly. And a quick whistle chest test. <whistles> Wallow. That's fine. Just listen to it on the monitor receiver. One, two, one, two. Testing one, two. That's fine. And there we have it. We're set up. I was surprised this worked as well as it actually does. So I'll see you on the receive side of this video.